Hello and welcome to week three, Humanities 101. There was some really good stuff last week in the discussion forum on the cigarette ads. The older cigarette ads, more doctors smoke camels, the cools will freshen your breath. I watch these old ads and, and we think about them in a certain way. Very strange to see these old ads when we know now the dangers of cigarette smoking. And I relate them in some ways to prescription drug ads. The next time you watch prescription drug ads on TV, don't just ignore them. Really listen to what they're telling you. And I'm thinking that maybe in 20 or 30 years we'll look back on prescription drug ads as being a pretty bad thing, just like we look back on cigarette smoking. So keep an eye on your prescription drug ads. And remember, they're only legal in two countries in the world. That's the United States and New Zealand. You can't, uh, you can't advertise for prescription drugs over in Europe. It's against the law. I really want to talk this week about communism. Uh, we do have a video lecture later on in your assignment folder about communism and this threat of nuclear annihilation through the 50s and 60s, this threat of America and Russia shooting nuclear bombs at each other and basically wiping out the, uh, the human population on the face of the earth was very much with us, was a big cloud hanging over our head, a dark cloud. In the 50s, we think of that as a very peaceful time with Dwight D. Eisenhower, who was our president from 1952 to 1960, Dwight Eisenhower. Then we had Kennedy up till 63. But we did have this Cold War. Nikita Khrushchev was the leader of Russia. We had the Cuban Missile Crisis with Khrushchev installing missiles, nuclear missiles in Cuba, just 90 miles south of Florida. With Castro, the Korean War had just ended. Communism in China with Mao Zedong, Sputnik the orbiting satellite that the Russians sent up in 1957 really scared us and started the space race. Uh, we really had this whole nuclear arms race and we were very worried about communism. And just similar that the way we feel about terrorism today, we're always just a little bit worried about it. It's always hanging over our heads. But in some ways, communism became pop culture. And one of the things that really has permeated our society is the idea of the post-apocalyptic movie. Post-apocalyptic, meaning after the apocalypse, after the giant nuclear war. There are two new movies out right now, The Road with Viggo Mortensen and Book of Eli with Denzel Washington, both two new, ver <laughs> excuse me, two very new movies. I've seen The Road. I have not seen The Book of Eli. Get these movies and watch them. Very interesting stuff. Also in the past, we had Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome with Mel Gibson. I know Mel gets a bad rap these days and deservedly so. Uh, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome with Tina Turner, a great movie again, post-apocalyptic. And my favorite, The Postman with Kevin Costner. The Postman, Kevin Costner. And before that, we also had a movie called Dr. Strangelove in the 60s, which was not truly a post-apocalyptic movie, but it was about the atom bomb and our relationships with Russia, a very dark comedy directed by Stanley Kubrick. So get one of those movies this weekend if you can. Just a suggestion, The Road, The Book of Eli, The Postman, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, or Dr. Strangelove. But another way that pop culture, communism and pop culture have really kind of kind of converged is in the, the idea of Che Guevara. Here we have what is possibly has been this image right here. Let me start over. This image right here has been called the most recognized image, the most recognized photograph in the world. And it is a picture of Che Guevara, who was a communist rebel, worked with Castro in Cuba, was born in Argentina, later went on to the Congo and Africa and Bolivia and South America to try and foment revolution, and he failed. He did die in Bolivia. It was, was killed by the government of Bolivia and the CIA. Che Guevara, we'll be seeing him again in our video lecture. Please watch that. Then also this week we're talking about the 50s rock greats. Bill Haley, Bo Diddley. Jerry Lee Lewis, Chuck Berry, Buddy Holly, and most importantly, Little Richard and the great king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Be sure you're watching the video lecture for that and also all seven um, YouTube videos, some great music videos of that period. So some things to think about, prescription drugs, communism, how communism becomes pop culture through movies and Che Guevara and images, and also the music greats. So be checking out all that stuff. Be sure you go down to the bottom of your assignments folder page and find the discussion forum and do it properly. There's a two-part discussion forum. Only start one thread, but do it in two questions. See ya.